But we begin tonight with a woman's lost sense of security. A trip to her local grocery store left her beaten and bruised. Good evening and thanks for staying up with us. I'm Jim Adley. I'm Sean Yancey. It is just the latest example of the rise in crime in D.C. and residents telling us they don't feel safe in their own neighborhoods. And it comes on the verge of a critical move in D.C.'s crime fight. Our team coverage begins with News 4's Mauricio Casillas. He spoke to a woman in her 70s who says she's speaking out to keep others safe. It's a story you will only see on News 4. 74 year old Sylvia Murillo had come to this Safeway in Adams Morgan this past Saturday with a friend. She was here to just pick up a few items. She said nothing was out of the ordinary until she was about to leave the store and she felt a strong push in her back. That's when she says the attack began. It was very scary. I didn't know what was going on. I thought it was somebody pushing a cart. Then he pushed me by mistake. She quickly realized it wasn't a mistake. Murillo says after smashing into the window, the man continued to attack. Because it was one after another, the points and points and points in my back and pulling my hair. What's still unclear is why. Murillo says none of her things were stolen and the police report obtained by News 4 also doesn't mention anything about the man stealing from the store. She says a few other customers told her he was acting strange inside of the Safeway. Murillo says a few bystanders stepped in to help and eventually the man ran away. But the damage was already done. I thought about my son. I thought he was going to die. I thought he was going to kill me. Murillo was hospitalized. She's thankful she didn't break any bones, but she's very bruised up. And the doctors told her she tore a ligament in her knee. She now has to use a cane to get around. Thanks God, I'm here. For being that old, I'm here. Yeah, my son said I have nine lives. Despite that, she's sharing her story because she doesn't want others to go through what she's been through. Even though I'm going through so much pain, I, I still have to be happy. And happiness just a little, little. Like now, I'm very happy because I'm letting people know what's going on. D.C. police have yet to release any possible information on the suspect. Murillo says he was about six foot three in his 40s with short hair. In Adams Morgan, Mauricio Casillas, News 4.